If your coolant reservoir is boiling, your engine is running too hot, and something in the cooling system isn't working right. It might be something simple, or it could be a sign of serious damage. Either way, in this video, you're about to find out exactly what it means, what causes it, and how to fix it. Let's get started. So, what does it actually mean when coolant is boiling in the reservoir? Your engine produces a ton of heat when it runs. Coolant is the liquid that absorbs that heat and carries it away, keeping the engine from overheating. Normally, your coolant system is sealed and pressurized. That pressure is important. It raises the boiling point of the coolant. That's why coolant can handle temperatures of 260 to even 300 degrees Fahrenheit without boiling. So, if the coolant in your reservoir is actually bubbling or boiling over, it means one of two things. Either your engine is getting way too hot, or your system has lost pressure and can't hold back the heat anymore. Both are bad news. Let's talk about the top five reasons this happens and how you can spot and fix them. Reason number one, low coolant level. This is the most common and the easiest to overlook. When the coolant level is low, there's not enough fluid to do its job. Hot spots form in the engine and air pockets develop in the cooling system. This disrupts the flow and creates boiling. You might also notice cold air coming from your heater or the temperature gauge climbing unexpectedly. To fix this, let the engine cool down completely. Then, open the reservoir and check the level. Top it up with the correct coolant mix, usually a 50-50 blend of antifreeze and water. If it keeps running low, you may have a leak somewhere in the system. Check for wet spots under the car or dried coolant around hoses and the radiator. Reason number two, a bad radiator. Cap coolant reserve your cap. This tiny part has a big job. It seals the cooling system and maintains pressure. If the cap is loose, damaged, or worn out, it can't hold pressure. That lowers the boiling point of your coolant, and it may start boiling even if the engine isn't extremely hot. Signs of a bad cap include coolant bubbling in the reservoir, leaking around the cap, or no pressure when you open it after the engine cools. The fix? Replace the cap. It's cheap, easy, and honestly often overlooked. Just make sure to get the correct pressure rating for your specific vehicle. Reason number three, a stuck thermostat. The thermostat controls when coolant flows to the radiator. When it works right, it keeps the engine at the perfect temperature. But if it gets stuck closed, coolant can't circulate. Heat builds up fast and soon it's boiling over into the reservoir. You'll notice the engine overheating quickly. The upper radiator hose may stay cold and your cabin heater might blow cold air. How do you fix it? Replace the thermostat. It's not an expensive part, and it's crucial for proper cooling. Seriously, don't keep driving if the engine is overheating. This can cause long-term damage. Reason number four, cooling fan failure. The cooling fan pulls air through the radiator, especially when your car is stopped or in traffic. If the fan doesn't turn on, heat isn't removed fast enough, and the coolant starts to boil. You might notice this when sitting at a red light. The temperature gauge rises, but once you start driving, the temp goes back down. That's a classic sign of a failed fan or fan circuit. Fix it. Check the fan fuse, relay, and connections. You can also test the fan by turning on your AC. It should activate the fan instantly. If nothing happens, the fan motor or its control system might need replacement. Reason number five, a blown head gasket. This is the most serious cause and the most expensive to fix. A blown head gasket allows hot combustion gases to leak into the cooling system. That creates pressure and superheats the coolant, causing it to bubble, even if the engine isn't that hot. You might also see white smoke from the exhaust, coolant loss, or milky oil on the dipstick. Fix it. Get a combustion leak test or a compression test to confirm. If the gasket is blown, the only real fix is to replace it. And that's a major repair. So, what should you do if you notice your coolant reservoir is boiling? Here's a quick checklist. Step one, turn off the engine immediately. Do not open the coolant radiator cap while the engine is hot. Boiling coolant can cause serious burns. Step two, let the engine cool completely. Then check the coolant level. Top it off if it's low and look for signs of leaks. Step three, inspect the radiator or coolant cap. If it looks damaged or worn, replace it. Step four, listen for the cooling fan. If it doesn't turn on, check the fuses or fan motor. Step five, watch the temperature gauge. If the engine keeps overheating, you might have a stuck thermostat, or worse, a head gasket problem.